Well, Madison and Chris, this is Old Sacramento as we know it today. But if you've lived in Old Sacramento a long time, you'd know that Old Sacramento didn't always look this way. That's why this story is so important. The Fat Family and their restaurant, Fat City, was instrumental in turning Old Sacramento from a rundown area to a tourist attraction. A lot of leaded glass, you know, so uh, when we decided on the concept of Fat City, this was the style that, you know, uh, that fit. The Fat City Bar and Cafe is known for its decorative interior adorned with Tiffany styled lamps, a 150 year old bar, and stained glass art. Purple Lady is, uh, I forgot where my brother got it, but uh, it was in the Chicago's World's Fair. Owner Jerry Fat remembers his family's decision to open the restaurant here more than 40 years ago. Just putting this place together, and at the time there was. Uh, uh, not a lot of, obviously, there wasn't Golden One Arena downtown. Uh, even Sacramento in the 70s, there were not a lot of dining options. In 1976, the city's blighted historic downtown was undergoing dramatic changes. Once a skid row, business owners heeded calls of city leaders to invest and save the area. That's when the Fat family decided to build a restaurant here. It was led by Jerry's father, Frank Fat, a Chinese immigrant who worked his way up from being a dishwasher to a successful businessman. Um, my father, we were one of the first businesses uh, here in Old Sacramento. While Old Sac's come a long way over almost half a century, customers have been dropping off in recent years. With growing competition from new downtown developments, issues with parking and the rising costs of doing business in California, it, it was a business decision. The restaurant will close after 43 years. Now, if you've been paying attention to the city of Sacramento, there have been promises made in the tens of millions of dollars to invest in the old Sacramento area. Now, I asked the owner of the restaurant about that, and he said while those efforts are admirable, he's not willing to wait years and that potential loss of money. Meanwhile, if you do like the Fat Family restaurants, the other ones are still going to be sticking around. You can visit those in downtown Folsom and Roseville. Back to you. Mm -hmm. That All is right. a good point to make, but talk about the end of an era. I know. They're 40 in Osage. Wow. Giacomo, we thank you.